Hi everybody, I've got two interesting little mods for you today. The first one is Aaron's Alchemist Shack. And it is the Alchemist Shack. But better. And this place was recommended to me by Evil Minds. And if you just want somewhere, just to remind you where this is, we're near to Everstead. If you want somewhere in this part of the world just to lay your head and do a bit of alchemy, then this is a nice little overhaul. Just around the side here, you've got some planters. Loving all the lighting. The shack is pretty much unchanged. There's a bookshelf, but the addition of these wonderful little pots, a display case, a shrine, Poisons, fortifications, I love that. And potions. And your bird. And a cooking pot, uh, despite there being no fire, which always strikes me as a bit random when mod authors do that. But the selling point for me is this garden. Check this out, you've got a pumpkin vine. Somewhere to sit and more of these pots. And a whole bunch of soils. So that is nice. It's a sweet little overhaul of this place, plus a skill book, which as you can see, I've already opened. <laughs> so that is handy. So that's the first little place. Second, it's uh, somewhat larger, if I can remember where it is, Cathedral of Skyrim it's called. It's free and you can fast travel here as soon as you download it. And it's immense. <laughs> and it's Trixie, insofar as to get access to all of the spots in this cathedral, you have to unlock various sections uh, using keys which you will find around and about. The first one is in this box, and there's also a welcome letter. And there's a tantalizing treasury chest right there. So this is what you get right at the end. 25K and all these goodies. So, you know, <laughs> so your first key is in this box and then it opens a gate and then you're looking for these silver urns. Each silver urn contains the next key to the next section. And if you look up in here, you will see some perilous skinny little walkways going all the way up to the top. There's a lot of backtracking, running back and forth. It's quite an evil puzzle. <laughs> it's not, actually. It's, it's quite simple, but, you know, there's a lot of running around. But it's so worth it, not least of all for the views from the top. So I am very aware that fast camera movements are not cool and make everybody feel sick. So I'm cutting out all those bits, but look at this. We're not even at the top and this is amazing. So this isn't an actual home as such. It's just something in your landscape looking wonderful. And I have fallen to my death once. <laughs> I got too giddy, got too cocky, thought that I you know, could just charge down the stairs, misstepped and fell right down in the middle. So if you're not as clumsy as me, then I'm sure it won't be a problem. <laughs> so through the trapdoor, and then you're up on this platform. And... Oh, the views. So, if this mod is developed at all, I would love to see a little section 
for you to live in, you know? But just as a standalone building in the landscape, I think it's beautiful. I'm going to leave you with that view. I'll call that the end of this wee video. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon for another.